Delaware in the building. Y'all ain't ready for the Delaware takeover. Y'all not ready for this unique style and creativity that everybody in the world wants to see. Nas and Jay is bringing and everything they bring got that Delaware. Hey everybody. Hey everybody. <laughs> Naj and Jay here. Well, actually, let me introduce us properly. My name is Maya Bellardo. <laughs> and I'm Naj and Nicole. And we're here to tell you about <laughs> my show coming up. <laughs> so we need to set the record straight. You got us both here. All yes. light skinned people do not look the same. I have long hair too. I wonder if I cut off my beard and my mustache if y'all would call me Maya too. He's huh. not, he not that pretty. We ain't got oh, no problem. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm we ain't got no problem. So for some reason, even though I do get it, because she's beautiful, right? We keep getting mistaken for each other. Yes. So I am Naja Nicole. I am how many years older than you? Well, don't go there. It's okay what? though. Fifteen. But what? No. Well, I don't know. I don't know. When I tell you, I just want to like reach <laughs> over you. Like I'm so happy you're here. So yes, I'm Naja Nicole. This is Maya Bellardo. I'm Maya Bellardo, yes. So for those who need to know and who want to know. <laughs> we're standing, sitting in the same room. Yes. We are separate people. Yes. And we're not twins. And we're not twins. We're not twins. <laughs> so Maya. Hi. We are here at the Simmer Down. The Simmer Down. This is the Simmer Down room. This mm -hmm. is where y'all going to come to party after the party, mm -hmm. OK? Mm -hmm. Maya is going to have a show here this Saturday. Yes. There's going to be dinner. There's going to be drinks. There's going to be cocktails. There's going to be espresso. And then a, 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 a live broadcast of a radio show, right? Yes. yes okay, down so here. Mm -hmm. let's talk about all the things. Okay. How did we get here? How did we get to setting up this beautiful night? So, like, in the planning stages? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I actually went to school here. Uh, this used to be Kaumba Academy. And my mom and I, we heard about that they renovated it, and we saw that it was called The Coin. So I was told by um, other like fellow teachers that used to uh, be there when I was at school and uh, friends that I had, they said that they walked into The Coin, and mm -hmm. they were so nice to them and let them see the place. So mm -hmm. my mom and I went in there. We told them that I used to go to Kumba. They showed us everywhere. And then my, I would say my mom was a mastermind, <laughs> and she thought about it. She sees the, the vibe of the place, because, I mean, it's, it has a vintage vibe, and, you know, mm -hmm. I sing jazz. She's like, let's try to put that together. And yeah. also with just how much talent came out of Kaumba, like, mm -hmm. let's keep that alive. Let's bring that here. Let's always keep it in this building. So that's kind of how it came all about. I love that. Yeah. So did she, like, <laughs> did you guys set up a meeting with the managers, and you were like, all right, boom, this is what we're going to do? Or was like their collaboration in the planning? I feel like there was definitely collaboration. We kind of all, they sat down with us and we talked, bounced ideas off of each other of like what we could bring here and keep it, the Kumba legacy alive, really. Just. I didn't know it was yeah. like that was a part of it. I love that. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> give us, let's just start right at the top. Mic. Give mm. us, huh? Thank you. Let me just oh, fix okay. my mic. Thank you. Give us. <laughs> a rundown of the night from top to bottom. Give the people mm -hmm. uh, a clear picture of what they're going to get at this experience. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah. So there are two options. When you go on the, the ticket link, there are two options. So if you get the dinner option, you can come. Dinner starts around 530, and you will have a three-course meal. Work and that's, that before, that's before the show. Mm -hmm. um, there's even the menu on the, the ticket link that shows all of the meals and what it that all entails and the choices. Okay. So you have that, you're eating, and then at 7.30, we will have Perry Williams playing saxophone, who's amazing. We know Perry. We love Perry. Yes. What's up, Perry? Awesome, awesome. Dope. So he will be playing and keeping the vibe alive. And then at around 8.30, then I will be performing for an hour. And uh, the show mostly... In, uh, uh, has Stevie Wonder tunes, mm -hmm. who I love. So I'll be having some Stevie Wonder tunes mixed with some jazz and, you know, my songs that I, you know, Maya songs. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then after that, then you're welcome to stay and come down to the Simmer Down where we're sitting right now. And sweet friend Sean will be ha uh, hosting her radio show down here. And you're welcome to listen and she'll be interviewing me for a little bit. 
So yeah, it's it's a full night. But it's, it's a, a full, full experience. Night. Like yeah. you don't just get. I, I love. We don't yeah. get those things. <laughs> you no, know, because you could easily just go out in right. Philly and mm -hmm. see someone performing jazz while you're like, eating. Right, but the fact that this is all kind of well coordinated together, I think that that yeah. makes it unique. Even from you know the ending, not the ending, but like the closing part of the night with Sweet French Home, like that yeah. really gives it a certain uniqueness that I think is really dope. Yeah. It's like yeah. those, uh, I guess you could call them like cabaret or, or lounges back in the day, they mm -hmm. would do dinner and then the show would come on mm -hmm. and then they would have like their dessert after. You know, like, I, I love that. Yeah. We need more of that in the city. Thank you, thank you. So, so yeah. why did we decide to go with uh, uh, a big amount of Stevie Wonder songs? I mean, everyone knows that he's, you know, likely the GOAT, but like, why did you choose that specifically for this event? Well, one, I, I just wanted to bring something different. I did uh, do a Stevie Wonder show at South that was received really well, mm -hmm. um, South Jazz Kitchen in Philly. It was received really well, so I thought, let's, you know, not only am I performing here, but let's bring something different, a different side of me that people haven't seen. Mm -hmm. I do think that uh, Stevie Wonder songs are pretty jazzy, but also just bringing a different vibe to it that I like to do as well. Um, and I, I just feel like his music is classy too. You yes. know, his messages yeah. and his words. It, I, I felt that it fit the vibe and just just something fun and just want everyone to have a good time and can move around a little bit. I, I, it's <laughs> funny, I've heard a lot of musicians talk about after Stevie concerts, like if he's in Philly mm -hmm. or Baltimore, DC, mm -hmm. that he is likely to be seen jamming out at places like this oh, wow. after his concerts. Oh, wow. So I think it's pretty fitting. Yeah, Do you have yeah. something that you're not telling us about the real end of Oh the my life? God, TV. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Let me not say what I want to say because this will be like, wait a minute, wait, maybe we need that. We need some clickbait. We need some clickbait. Right, set them up, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so Under wait. promise, over deliver. No. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, I have to say this. Stevie Wonder music, mm. as beautiful as it is, mm -hmm. is complicated. It is hard. So hard. tell yes. us, because, <laughs> because yeah. child, listen, I have never done a Stevie cover because... Really? Wow. No, lie. I've done one, Sir Duke. Okay. Wow. I've done okay. Sir Duke. Okay. But I don't do it because I'm terrified of, like, how big the song can be. Yeah. Hmm. So yeah. what do you do mentally and musically that kind of pushes all that out the way um, and makes you feel really confident about the music? Well, I feel like I, I mean, I, every song that I do, I always try to put myself into the song mm -hmm. and how I would interpret it. So I'm still, you know, trying to keep true to how he does the songs, but I, I just make it my own thing. Yeah. I don't know. So, <laughs> so no, I want to actually get into that a little bit because mm -hmm. I remember specifically at the Clifford Brown year round, mm -hmm. uh, I think we were all yes, on the same bill. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what was the song number one? Because you did one of Stevie's songs. Do you remember which one it was? Because I don't. It. Maybe it was Isn't She Lovely, maybe? And I remember specifically maybe. that, you know, I was watching the rehearsal mm -hmm. and the musicians attacked it traditionally. And mm -hmm. you were like, uh-uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you gave mm -hmm. them some very specific direct directives yes. about how it should go. Mm -hmm. So can you talk a little bit more about how you throw you into it? You know what I mean? So I, I just... I'm not afraid to tell the band, like, let's change up the groove a little bit. Yeah. Um, even some of the tunes, I, I, I go into a swing. It, it, that mm. sounds wild, but it's, it, it, it's cool. It sounds smooth and stuff. So I always, like, find ways of bringing in, you know, my jazz influences and, mm -hmm. and mixing them together. It's, it's, I do feel like it is fairly easy with Stevie Wonder tunes because, like I said before, they are pretty jazzy. <laughs> And they're so well yes. written, so yes. it, it's very easy to like go into different times and things, and it makes sense, you know. Mm. So yeah, mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> so in order to pull that off, you gotta have good musicians. Oh, yeah. yeah. You want to talk yeah. about the band a little bit? Yeah, I have amazing band. Ish is actually a part of the band. He's very excited. So I have uh, amazing band. We have uh, piano, bass, drums. So. Who do you know? Can you tell us the players? So I have Dylan who will be on piano. Okay. And okay, I have Dylan. Devin Waring that will be on drums. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And I played with him a few times mm -hmm. around. So. Animal. Yeah. So. I love it. <laughs> and how did you come across Perry? How did you decide, okay, I'm going to do? Because, you know, people expect us to always do singers, right? Yeah. So what made you say, no, I'm going to do something different? Well, uh, I mean, I love 
the sound of a saxophone. I love I do saxophones. Too. Oh my god, a good sax player. It was is bass and sax for me are like my favorite instruments to listen to. Now wait a minute, Mike. We told him we <laughs> wasn't the same person, and now we got the same. Oh no. <laughs> so uh, so yeah. So I they're up there for me. Okay. Um, and saxophone, I just feel like it's so classy mm -hmm. the sound and all of that so I wanted to have a really great saxophone player I heard so many great things about Perry and um, my dad knows him and he knows my family so I wanted him to be a part so yeah so you've been singing now almost 10 years performing now uh, just about yeah so yeah from looking back mm -hmm. from where you started your first showcase at CCAC yeah. to now creating your own experience mm -hmm. in this brand new venue that hasn't had anything like this that I can recall mm -hmm. in the past year. Yeah. How are you feeling? What would you tell the Maya back then? I mean, I'm just so thankful and grateful to be able to do this and have the support of my community and everyone. Um, I'm, just, I'm just super thankful. I never thought I would do all of this, especially in my school that I went uh, to. Yeah, I can do that. I didn't yeah. know that this was gonna happen, so I'm just I'm just truly thankful. It's a surreal moment for me. So yeah. I'm very excited. Yeah. What are you looking <laughs> forward to the most on Saturday? I'm looking forward to seeing everyone getting dressed up. The outfits, the Girl. fits. Uh, yes. That's what I'm excited yes. to see. Talk about what like yes. if so I am a notoriously basic dresser. Oh we know. <laughs> Yeah, oh, yeah. No. yeah, yeah, we know. Okay, so <laughs> I've seen that jacket in so, almost every interview. <laughs> no. So it's how good, good would you <laughs> tell me to show up? Like Najee, nah, you can't do oh. that. Like, where do you? What do I need well, to put on? First, you're gonna tell them the baby. I mm -hmm. mean, I want people to come authentically them. No, no, um, don't say that to wait, me. Wait, wait. <laughs> it's a terrible <laughs> thing to say to me. <laughs> but I mean, the coin is a very, it, it, it gives very classy feel, very vintage, reminds me back to like the 60s time, like when people were going out and enjoying jazz. So just come classy and I don't know. No, 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 I got you, yeah. <laughs> I, I totally get the vibe. Mm -hmm. yeah. So do you have an idea of how you are going to show up? Well, you're you're gonna be helping me with that a little yes. bit. Yes. So I I know we're talking about that still, so I'm excited to see what we come up with. But I mean I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just I don't know. I, I know it's gonna be good, so <laughs> I'm not even You trust her? I, I trust her. Yeah, okay, yes. cool. The funny thing about Maya <laughs> is when you listen to her musically, when you listen to her talk about music and all that, like, the girl's calculating, okay? <laughs> she got ideas. And I want that to come out in your outfits. Like, I want people to be like, dang, that voice, the her arrangements, and that outfit and that hair. So, girl, we gonna be good. Don't I know you got you, me because you, you're always fabulous, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So now that we got you here stuck, oh, I, uh -oh. I am I am curious uh -oh. to know about what you are doing now, sort of artistically. Like, where's your ear going? What kind of stuff are you writing? Anything new? Like, what stuff is kind of inspiring you? Like, tell us about the current version of, of Maya. The current version. Well, I have been writing some new music. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like my sound is jazzy but it's starting to go into different realms of like fusion fusion yeah. with okay. r&b and mm -hmm. even hip-hop mm -hmm. and things like that you got bars you got bars i mean oh. i don't have bars <laughs> i don't have bars but i would welcome you know rappers and people who have bars to come <laughs> on to myself <laughs> but i don't have bars that would be nice but yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe not yet not yet uh -huh. <laughs> and what influenced yeah. the change um I think what influenced the change is just um, the different influences of genres that I listen to. Yeah. I mean, I listen to a lot of different types of music. So I'm starting, I'm, I'm becoming a, a, a woman and a grown woman and just starting to find my voice. Mm -hmm. And I'm realizing that, you know, bringing all that um, past 
uh, influences and things and bringing that into it has, yep. it's coming into something that is different. <laughs> what do you just like lock, like what are you jamming right now? Like if we, you what know, go you to your playlist. What are jamming right now? <laughs> Seriously. Um, I, I listen to a lot. I mean, I listen to Afro beats. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. That's the thing right now. Um, mm -hmm. I listen to, um, I'm like blinking. I listen to so much. Mm -hmm. I just it. I sometimes I'll, I'll just go on Apple Music and just shuffle and just see what comes out. I'll listen yeah. to yeah. random playlists and pick songs that I like and things. Yeah. I'm. I listen to trap sometimes. I listen mm -hmm. to. I listen to different things. People are always surprised when I say trap, but. No. I, <laughs> I find jazz influences in trap, to be honest. Talk about that. Oh, yeah. Go into it. Go all the oh, way in. No, no break it down yes, for the people. Please. Yep. I mean, I just hear like the certain note choices that they make and the beats behind the the 808s that they have and stuff that there's jazz influences mm. in in there. So I'm always listening for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just listening to all types of music. Who is your okay? Do you have a favorite <laughs> trap artist? A favorite trap artist? Mm -hmm. um, that question was a trap. Oh. That was a trap. Did you get that terrible joke that I just told? <laughs> it was a terrible joke. You shouldn't respond to it. It was terrible. It was terrible. Well. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Interview over. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> but um, I listen a little Uzi sometimes. Okay. Um, oh, I like trap? more of his, I, his music, well, hmm. especially his older stuff was definitely okay. trap, but okay. his stuff now, not as much, oh. um, but I used to listen to his older records that he had. Um, Any female rappers? Um, I'm Trappers? To well, not, not trap female artists. I listen to Doja Cat, but she's not really. I don't even know how to differentiate rap from trap. <laughs> All of the hip hop heads are exploding so right no, now. I'm so sorry. All of the hip hop rap. Oh no. You're just, that was me. No, that wasn't Maya. <laughs> Maya knows the difference. I'm the one that's the problem. Direct the comments. This is to not me. the time to confuse the two of them. This is not the time. No, it's not. <laughs> so, oh, man. let's go through Saturday one more time Saturday, so people one more time. get it. So when they hit that link, mm -hmm. you go on Maya's page, you're going to go on Facebook or mm -hmm. Instagram, you're going to go to Maya Bellardo. Yes. You're going to click on that link, and what's going to come up? What will come up is there will be two ticket options. There's one that is just jazz, so you just come and enjoy the show at around 7-ish, 7.30. No food. No food, unfortunately. Sorry. Now, if you want food, there is a full dinner ticket. So at 5.30, you can come and have a three-course meal, lovely meal. And then you will see uh, Perry uh, playing saxophone at 7.30. And then I will be singing for an hour at eight, around 8.30ish. And then, to top it all off, everyone is welcome to come down to the Simmer Down to listen to Sweet Friend Sean broadcast her radio show, So Opera radio mm -hmm. and you can listen in and I will be interviewed for a little bit so you get to see that and, and listen in to the radio show. And yeah. And how do we get tickets again? Do we did we already say that? We I just we online? just we just went over that. <laughs> okay, cool. We just went over that. But my Blardo, you can find me on Facebook or go on the Coin website as well and there will be it's on resi.com. So yeah. Yes. Yeah. Another big point I want to make sure that we hit because mm -hmm. I know that this um, isn't supposed to be just a one-time thing. Like, you're trying to build something. Can you talk about that also? Yeah, so, uh, I mean, the goal is to have more events like this and incorporating other um, artists that, that are around and just involving the community, really. That's Similar to what you did at the library? Yeah, yeah, similar okay. to what I did with my Ballardo Presents. But so this just... is her second venture. <laughs> She'd be bringing them out. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but just elevating it more to a full, full, full night and... and yeah, just having a good time. That's really, that's what it's about. So, oh. yeah. And yeah. I just want to say shout out to her parents because all three of them are entrepreneurs and are doing the damn thing. So, thank you. Just put that out. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, thank you, Maya. Thank you for having me. Thank We're going to be there, dressed to the nines and tens. I'll be there. <laughs> we showing up for our 20 right here. I'm going to, here's what I can guarantee you oh. I'll be there. Okay. I will have my camera. All right. That's will... not part of the outfit. Oh, let me finish. <laughs> it is. I'm going to have it. <laughs> it totally is. It's like my chain, son. No. So 
I will be there mm -hmm. with my camera. Okay. And, and I will shower. <laughs> That's support right there. Bam. That's support right there. So make sure y'all get your tickets for this Saturday, y'all. This Saturday. Get dinner too, cause don't show up hungry. Okay. And show, the food get, is good. And it's I'm. It's great I'm here. Not, the food is fantastic. Is. And I'm not just saying that, cause I'm a, a foodie, and mm -hmm. I'm very serious about my food. Yes. And they make really. Have you had really like the good. corn toast crostata with the, the crab? It was this Ooh. little piece of toast that cost me four hundred dollars, but <laughs> when I got it, it was so good. It was so good, and I'm gonna spend every dollar to get another one. So <laughs> make sure y'all come out and support your girl because we need to support our local artists. Okay, remember that if you mm. want to be supported, come out and support our own. So. Yes, yes. We love Thank you for you. watching. Thank Bye. You. Bye. <laughs>